Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Showed you a little bit of uh, Linux Mint, and I'm in Linux Mint right now, doing the screencast, and uh, a common complaint is that there are no games in Linux, or no popular games. Well, there's this thing called Wine Doors, and I'm going to show you that right now. Let me just go ahead and launch this product. Okay, now what Wine Doors is, is that it's a very easy Windows installer. Now, what I'm going to do here is just show all applications, even the ones I have installed. And one of the things here you will see once I find it, because uh, the list is quite large. Oh, there it is. Is DirectX 9. And you'll see right beneath that Half Life 2, and beneath that World of Warcraft 2. And we got Warcraft 3, Call of Duty 1, uh, what else we got? Call of Duty 2, EVE Online 3, Soldat 1, and uh, also there's Steam. That's what runs all the uh, Steam games, like Counter-Strike, for example. And there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Now, I have the Steam installed. Let me just show you this. Okay, it's connecting to my Steam account. Those that have played uh, Steam games before, very familiar with this. The exact same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Just taking a second for it for it to connect up. Now, while it's doing that, uh, I'm playing a DVD here. And I've also got... Uh, Firefox browser running and all that happy good stuff. Okay, there we go. This is the Steam client and we've got the My Games category here. Now, uh, let me just zoom in on this. Now, this is Half Life 2 and right now it is downloading. This is the Steam client, a true blue Steam client. Now, it's going to take quite a while to download Half Life 2 because it is a big game after all, but you'll see all the other games here like Condition Zero, Counter-Strike, Day of Defeat, all the stuff that's in Steam. Uh, yeah, and hopefully, crossing fingers, this will actually work in uh, Linux Mint. If it does, <laughs> that would kick ass in all the right places. I don't have to tell you about that. And it would also finally just show... Now granted, yes, you could do games in Linux before, but not necessarily this easily. Now the cool thing is, is that Wine Doors is something that is uh, installed by default in... Uh, Linux Mint. Now I've gone ahead and, and updated this, but there's other stuff I have in here. I have Macromedia Dreamweaver 8, which if I launch right now, let me just minimize this first. And then it says, uh, I have the, the trial of it, but there it is, Dreamweaver 8. This is the Windows version of Dreamweaver. Running in Linux Mint, no problem. And let me just do File, New. Dreamweaver is not a light application either. I mean, this runs pretty slick, if I might say so myself. Let me just resize this window a bit. Okay, there we go. Now we've got Dreamweaver 8 running. And, uh, you know, like I said, i got my DVD movie here. I've got the Steam installer doing its thing. It's downloading uh, Half-Life 2. Once it's all downloaded, I'm going to give it a shot. And again, I'm crossing fingers that it actually works, because that would be pretty darn cool if you asked me. So this is, I guess, uh, just a teaser. And if I get it working, I will be sure to screencast it. Just letting you guys know that, uh, yeah, I'm testing stuff out, and I'll let you know what's up. Take it easy.